Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to see who is thinking about you and why are they thinking about you. Keep in mind this is General Collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. We're going to start with Aries first. All right, let's find out the hidden truth, what they're thinking. This person is thinking about you. Okay, I see life differently now. We both know I'm not the one for you. And I watch your social media. So this person's watching everything that you post, everything that you comment, everything that you do on social media. So why are they doing this? Let's find out from the tarot. Because they're seeing life a little bit differently. And they know that they're not the one for you. But why are they watching you then? So let's find out. Eight of Wands. Knight of Swords and the World and the Four of Swords. You know, this person, I'm hearing uh, disrupt your peace. They want to disrupt your peace. This is an individual. You may actually, with the Empress of Hidden at the bottom of the deck, you may have a child with this person. Um, I can't show you some of these cards because they're, they're naked. But this person, the reason why they're watching you is because they actually want to reach out and communicate with you. With the Knight of Swords, they're observing you. They see that your life is very peaceful, that you're in a good place. And this is somebody who they act like they don't care, but they really do. That's why they're watching your social media. They're, they see you're living your best life and you're doing really well. And um, they're trying to figure out if you're in, yeah, they're trying to figure out with the seven of cups, if you have other options, if you are in a relationship, they're trying to figure out something about you. We do have the fool. So it does look like they are potentially going to try to take a leap of faith. If they do reach out, they may say, oh, we both know we're not met for each other, but let's give it a try anyway. It's that type of energy. So that's why they're watching there. They're trying to gauge what your status is. Okay, we do have air sign, uh, fire sign, air sign, Aquarius also. Okay, Taurus. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Taurus, who is thinking about you? Why are they thinking about you? Let's figure out what they're thinking first. What are their thoughts? Taurus, you inspire me. I'm not available and I'm afraid to contact you. You didn't see my tears. So I'm hearing that. Um, is it Millie Vanilli? Blame it on the rain that was falling, falling. Blame it on the stars. Shine at night. Whatever you do, you can put the blame on you. I don't know. It's all the words. Uh, they're afraid to contact you. Okay, so what's going on here, Taurus? This person, that they see you as an inspiration to them. Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, Temperance, could be dealing with Sagittarius, and Queen of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands. You may have a child with this person. You maybe have known this person since childhood. There could have been um, a fight or an argument that this person's ego and pride gotten the best of them. And that's why they don't want you to know they had tears, that they were crying, and now they're afraid to contact you. They're not available emotionally is the problem. We do see the temperance here, so it looks like they are going to try to work through here in the near future their feelings and emotions and hopefully come towards you with an opportunity of maybe a peace offer and also an opportunity of commitment because it does look like we do have the magician here. This person is thinking that maybe if they overcome what's happened, that they could try to return and recreate it again. Okay, we got uh, fire sign, water sign, heavy Sagittarius energy, or water sign. All right, Gemini. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Gemini. Who's thinking about you and why? What are their thoughts? What's this person that's thinking about Gemini? What is this person's thoughts at this time? I can't stop thinking about you, of course. <laughs> I lost myself for a little while. I left before you could leave me. That's somebody who has some insecurity issues. 
and I can be myself with you. So this person broke things off with you or ended things with you because they, they know that you're maybe in a better place in your life than they are. And hidden at the bottom of the deck, do I still have a chance? So somebody who left now is wondering, could I get another chance with Gemini? Is there an opportunity? I lost myself. I was a fool for letting you go. And now I want to come back because I can be myself with you. You accepted me. Ex you accepted me for who I am. Let's find out, Gemini. What else for this person that is thinking about Gemini that wants to know if they still have a chance? Two of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. They don't have any money. That's the problem. They still don't have any money. Emperor and Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. They see you as um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. They see you as somebody who's financially secure. You may be emotionally secure. Maybe you have built yourself up in your life. You have everything going for you. And they don't with the Five of Pentacles. They have nothing to offer you. And that's the problem. It looks like they are going to try to come towards you at some point. Um, yeah, we've got the tower here and we've got the nine of swords. This is somebody realizing, man, I really messed up because here you are independent and successful and living your best life. And they're going to come in here with the communication. They're going to say, you know what? I miss you. Can I, can I get another chance? Could I try to have another chance with you? I can't stop thinking about you. I can't let you go. And this, this person left or broke up with you before you would actually break up with them, but now they want to come back again because they just can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about how they had such a unique gem of an individual that they did not appreciate, they did not step up for. Cancer, you want your own personalized and depth reading? My website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to $48 turnaround. All right, Cancer, this person thinking about you, what are their thoughts and what are their actions going to be? Let's find out. The person thinking about Cancer. I'm in a committed relationship. Okay, so they're already with somebody else thinking about you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Did you not know they were in a relationship, Cancer? Your intellect arouses me. Maybe you were sleeping with this person. You didn't know that they had somebody else. I miss being with you. Okay, this person is... Um, I'm hearing, can get no satisfaction. I don't know how to sing that song. I know I was a distraction from your pain is hidden at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you were a distraction from this person's pain. This person maybe was going through a rough patch in their relationship with this other individual. They came towards you. Maybe it was friends with benefits. Maybe it was a workplace romance. Maybe it was neighbors sleeping together. Maybe it was um, two people that came together for lustful desires. Maybe you were hoping this person was going to open up emotionally, but this person was already in a committed relationship, whether you knew it or not. They're thinking about you because they miss you and they're aroused by you. So let's see, Cancer, what's going to happen here with the tarot, with this person that's thinking about you? What's going on for this person for Cancer? What's going to happen here? Seven of Wands, Fire Sign, Eight of Swords. That the, This is them caught up in their head. Two of Wands, Six of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Wands. They might actually, and Judgment, they may actually come back and tell you that they filed for divorce, that they separated from this other person. They're, they're going to tell you that um, they've cut this other person off, that this commitment that they're in, maybe they're legally connected still, but they're physically apart. They are caught up in their head because they know that they were juggling you and this person they were potentially married with. This is what's hidden at the bottom of the deck. This is the four of wands. They may actually be legally married, but the 10 of wands is following it. So it does look like there is something about this marriage is over. This relationship they're with with this other person is over. It's been over maybe for a long time, but we haven't followed with judgment. So that means they're probably heading for divorce or they're in the proceedings of already in the middle of a divorce at this point. So um, I don't really see them coming towards you just quite yet. They're thinking about you. Um, they're thinking about caught up in their head because they're intimately drawn towards you, but they're thinking about the memories the two of you did share, but I don't see them taking action right now anyway, Cancer. All right, Leo, 
You want your own personalized in-depth reading, Leo? My website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Leo, who is thinking about you? What, what are their thoughts? What's going on in this person's mind? And what actions are they going to take, Leo? I'm hearing, I wonder, wonder, ba do ba do who wrote the book of love? Baby, baby, baby. I trusted you. That's what I'm hearing. I want to be more than friends, Leo. I replay our conversations over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm waiting patiently. I want you so badly. I'm hearing, I want you back. Dun, 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 dun. All these songs are coming out. Wow. Okay, Leo. Well, whoever this is, this person's thinking about you. Whatever conversations you guys have, they can't stop thinking about it. They're waiting patiently because they want you badly. And they trusted you. And they want to be more than just friends. So maybe you're friends on this person. Maybe you um, were friends with benefits with this person. Either way, they want to be more than just the friends zone. So let's find out, Leo, with the tarot, what's going to happen here. Are they going to do something or are they just going to stay caught up in their head replaying conversations like a broken record? Let's see, Leo, what's going to happen here. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Sun. So you're coming out here in their energy. Four of Wands and Nine of Wands is being hidden. Somebody who has trust and the Hierophant's hidden underneath that. Someone has trust issues about commitment, Leo. They realize they didn't give like they should have in the past. Maybe you gave more than this person. I'm hearing what? What? Like what? I didn't give as much. Okay. They want to defend why they didn't give um, enough. It does look like this person wants to heal. With the sun, they want to come back. They want to be happy again. They're missing the Leo light, the energy that you emanate, the glow that you bring to everybody around you, and the four wands. So they are wanting stability. They're wanting security. We got the Hierophant hidden under their trust issues. So this person definitely, six of cups, this is past life energy. You guys could be twin flames, could be soulmates. This person is, and we got the hangman. So they are looking at things a little bit differently than what they once did. That's why they're replaying the conversations over and over. They're patiently realizing they have to sacrifice whatever this issue was with the trust that it needs to be owned in their yard, not yours. So it does look like that's something this person is working through with the Hierophant. They're mastering this lesson about themselves. And that's why they're replaying the conversations. Maybe you said some things to this person that really kind of drove home to them. So... Okay, we've got fire, earth, Leo energy. You could be dealing with another Leo and fire. We also had um, Taurus energy and Pisces energy too. You could be dealing with one of those signs. It doesn't have to be, but it's just the energy. Virgo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Virgo, the person um, who is thinking about you, what are their thoughts? What are their feelings? What is this person thinking about Virgo thinking at this time? I'm hearing strawberry shortcake. So somebody may be eating strawberry shortcake. Somebody's favorite dessert might be strawberry shortcake. Okay, I saved your texts and messages. I wish I could share my good news with you. I don't know why this happened. Your intellect arouses me. And I can't be with you is what's being hidden at the bottom of the deck. So this individual doesn't really understand why all of this has happened. There's something good that did happen in their life that they want to share with you. They wish they could share with you, but they just can't. So they did save all of your conversation. So let's find out for Virgo, who is this person? But they see you so smart, so sweet, but they don't know why this has happened between the two of you. Let's find out. Virgo. The Empress, the Seven of Wands, 
the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Who are all these people? King and Queen of Pentacles. You guys are divine counterparts. Or you're with your divine counterpart and this is somebody else. Because we do have the Page of Swords. Maybe you guys were friends. This feels like a, this is a lot. Okay, so this person could be the empress or you're the empress. Take it as it resonates. If, if you're the empress, you're the outside party to this person who's with somebody else now. If you're not the empress, there's somebody else here that this person potentially maybe has a child with that interfered with the two of you actually coming together. And that could be why they are saying, I can't be with you because maybe they're already married to a divine counterpart. And they did push you away with the seven of wands. But there's something with the good news that they do watch you. What's the good news? They got a new job that has made them really, they've opened their own business it looks like. They can't be with you because they're with somebody else. So why are they thinking about you? Something has worked out for them when it comes to finances. It feels like they started their own business here. Something major. And they wish they could share it with you. You're somebody who always maybe um, encouraged them or was very enthusiastic and optimistic for them to like go towards their dreams. And if they wanted to start a business, they should just do it. Maybe you said to them like, you know, I believe in you. I know you can do it. I feel you'll be very successful. That's what they, they're thinking about you because you're the person who actually kind of molded them to be able to feel confident to do that. You know, they think more about you than the person that they're in this divine counterpart with. They see things from the perspective of what you showed them, what they could be. You gave them the potential of who they could be. Okay. Um, we've got fire. We've got Taurus energy. We've got earth energy, double earth energy, um, air um, water, earth, and we've got, um, Aries. So, all right. Libra, you want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay. Libra, who is thinking about you? What are their thoughts? What's going on in their mind? What are their feelings? Libra, who's this person thinking about Libra at this time? Libra. Libra. I can't I can't get enough of you. I'm here and I can't get no satisfaction. I can't sing, so don't judge me. Um, I know I messed everything up. I left you, I left when I saw you with somebody, and I'm in a committed relationship. We need to let each other go. So this person is obsessed with you because of the, maybe you guys were intimate together, but they're with somebody else and they're not sexually satisfied with this other person, but they know that, they, that the two of you should let each other go. So let's find out for Libra, what's gonna happen with this person that can't get no satisfaction with anyone else or with their partner, whoever they're with. <clears throat> Libra. 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 Four cups. Page of cups. The death. I knew this death card was going to come out. I just had a feeling Scorpio was going to come out. Page of wands. Hidden. The hermit. They really want to communicate with you, but they know they can't. They know it's over. They know that they're not satisfied with where they're at. They're completely emotionally checked out with this other person and that could be why they're not having good intimate relations with this other person. Things have ended between the two of you. They maybe should have been more sensitive to your needs and they weren't. They've thought a lot about it. Yeah, we got the lovers coming out. We got Gemini energy and the five of pentacles. They're at a loss here. They feel defeated because they feel like they can't leave the situation or circumstances they're in with somebody else. That's why they feel like they've messed everything up. And they feel like it's a necessary thing for them to let you go, but they just can't 
get enough when they think about the intimacy. It's something like, it's almost like an immaturity that is pulling them back to you. Like maybe you were the first person they ever been with or you were the best that they've ever been with, but they just cannot get satisfied outside of that with the person they're with. Okay, Scorpio. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Scorpio, the person who's thinking about you, what are their thoughts? What are their feelings? What is going on with this person? What's going to be their actions for Scorpio? I don't react when people mention you. I find you so attractive. I wish I had treated you better. I will wait for a sign from you and I saved your text and your messages. So let's find out Scorpio. This person's very attracted to you. They keep looking at your pictures. Maybe send them a bunch of pictures on their phone or through email and they wish they had treated you better. They try to act like it's no big deal when people bring up your name or they say, oh, do you still talk to so-and-so or they mention you somehow? They try not to have any type of reaction, but it, it is very um, calculated for them to not have a reaction. They have such a big reaction. Ten of swords. Yep, there's a defeated energy from them. Judgment could be dealing with the Libra. Four of wands, nine of wands, nine of swords. This could have been somebody you were sleeping with with the nine of wands here. This person could be married. There's a lot of married people coming out. What's going on with the collective and these married people? Empress, somebody they have a child with. They're financially supporting somebody they have a child with. Three of Swords. They know they hurt themselves and they hurt you. When they're with this other person, they think about you. They feel like they should be with you. They should make a decision just to be with you. We've got the Nine of Swords heading at the bottom of the deck. So they just cannot get it out of their head. They try to act like it's no big deal, but there's a sense of like weight weighing on them because they miss you. But I don't see them. We do have the Nine of Wands. They might try to take action again. If you guys were sleeping together, they might try to. Um, with I will wait for a sign from you, that makes me feel like they're waiting for confirmation maybe from the universe that it's okay, it's go time to come towards you again. But there is a sense of defeat already. It's kind of like it's over before it even gets started again. Is the energy is what it feels like. Sagittarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Sagittarius, the person who's thinking about you, what are their thoughts, what are their feelings? What is going on for Sagittarius, this person that is thinking about them? What's going on in their thoughts? Sagittarius. I feel the sexual tension. You broke my heart. I'm hearing heartbreaker, dream maker. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, and I'm waiting patiently. Okay, so your person feels heartbroken and it was very, it was maybe hard for them to let you go. They're blaming you, but they're, they're realizing it's also their fault. There's a lot of um, steam that they have built up that they want to release when it comes to the situation between the two of you, Sagittarius. They feel the missing of the intimacy. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups. You could have um, children with this person, past life with this person. Eight of Pentacles, the Fool. Hidden is the Two of Pentacles and the world. This person wants to try to fix things with you. The Knight of Cups, they wanna to listen to their heart and try to come towards you. But they feel like they're waiting for something. What are they waiting for? They're waiting to heal things. They have their guard up right now. 
They're trying to heal something from their past, maybe something from their childhood, something that's an internal wound. They're working really hard and diligently trying to overcome whatever this wound is before they're going to take a leap of faith and try to come towards you. They do want to close out the cycle. If you're not in communication with this person, they want to close that out. They want to listen to their heart. The heart is telling them to go towards you. Um, but they can't come towards you until they fix something inside. Something is broken within them that they blamed you for the hurt, but it's actually something that is hurting internally on their inner child side. Okay, so we've got uh, water, water, Aquarius, earth, more earth. Water, fire, Aquarius again, a little bit of air. Okay. Capricorn, if you want your own personalized in depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Capricorn, who's thinking about you? What are their thoughts? What's in this person's mind? What are their feelings for this person that Capricorn? That is on Capricorn's mind. Person that has Capricorn in their mind. What is Capricorn's person's thoughts or feelings here? I know I was a distraction from your pain. I know that I crossed the line. I wish I treated you better and I daydream about a life with you. We also have, I find you so attractive. So Capricorn, this person finds you very alluring. They're very attracted to you. They daydream about a life with you. And they wish they would have treated you better. They cross, they feel like they crossed the line with you. And they feel like they were a distraction from your pain. So let's find out what's going to happen, Capricorn. Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. They want to defend why they crossed the line. They want to justify it. This person, um, they want to get out of their head. They want to get into their heart because they want something long-term with you. There's a, a hurt and disappointment that this person maybe had not worked through in their past. Looks like they want to try to rebuild this connection. They realize they, they, they have some internal things that they needed to address. But it looks like with the Page of Pentacles, they're trying to be practical about it because this is what they want. They daydream about a life with you with the Ten of Pentacles. They're wanting something everlasting. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Aquarius. The person thinking about you, what are their thoughts? What are their feelings? Aquarius. What is this person's thoughts and feelings? I don't know what comes next. I know that I crossed the line with you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I wish I treated you better and I trusted you. Hidden at the bottom of the deck, I saved your texts and your messages. So this person doesn't know what's going to happen next. Maybe they said or they did something that was not okay. And they trusted that you weren't going to judge them. That you weren't going to maybe even disregard them over what happened. What's going to happen here for Aquarius? Nine of Cups. Okay. Um, Chariot, Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. They're going to try to just move forward. They're, th we got the Page of Swords and the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So they're, they're trying to transition away from this, but they wish they had treated you better. They're realizing that maybe you are somebody who doesn't need them. Maybe you wanted them, but you really didn't need them. And they're observing that. There is a lot of hurt and disappointment this person has. They're feeling like they need to just take their hurt elsewhere and figure out what to do. I think that's why they don't know what comes next. We've got Cancer, Water, Water, Pentacle, um, well, Earth sign, and then Air. All right, Pisces. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24-48 hour turnaround. All right, Pisces. 
If you want your own first lines in depth reading, check out my website. The person on Pisces mind, what are their thoughts? What are their feelings for Pisces? I saved your texts and messages throughout. It forced its way out. I am recovering. We don't share the same values. I'm not available. And I want to tell you how I feel. So they feel like they're not available right now, but they still want to express how they feel that the two of you don't share the same values. And they're trying to recover from this, even though they still save your text messages and your correspondence. So let's find out, Pisces, what's going on here. Pisces. Page of Cups, Six of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Empress, and Three of Cups. Three is a crowd here. This person feels like you have other people. You've been on the fence with them for quite some time. They feel defeated. That could be why they want to tell you how they feel that they're trying to recover. You may have somebody else and they found out about it. And they're trying to just get to a place of peace with accepting it. They are um, maybe not communicating with you right now because of this third party situation. 